Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from today's title, this is a really messy fridge clean with me. I am the worst person when it comes to keeping my fridge organized. I broke down and I bought some organization pieces to get this job done. So if you're interested in seeing how I organize my fridge, keep on watching. So this is real life. This is the state of my fridge, which is absolutely horrible. Nothing is organized. Everything is just kind of thrown in there. And this is what I'm going to organize today. It's been a long time coming and I am really excited to get this job done. These bins are completely disorganized as well. We gotta get that cleaned up. There's something spilled in the back there. I have Condiment City going on here. Does anyone else love their condiments? Let me know below. First thing that I'm going to do is wipe everything down with my Trader Joe's Amazing Cloth. If you haven't heard me talk about this before, I love this cloth. You just need water and it wipes everything down so nicely. I've even washed it because it is reusable and it holds up really well in the washer as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and scrape off this old, I don't even know what this is. Um, I'm going to scrape this off with my scraper. If you do not have this tool in your kitchen, you have to get one. My favorite place to use this is on my glass top stove and of course on any stuck on messes. To clean and disinfect today, I will be using Mrs. Meyer's baking soda cream cleaner and the multi-purpose um, spray in basil. Basil is my favorite scent. I will also be using a double-sided scrubber that has a sponge on one side and then a scrubber on the other. So the mess that was down here was not liquid. It was some type of like salt or sugar. And what I'm guessing it is, is my son made chipotle salt recently for a recipe. And um, I think he spilled it in the back of the fridge. Now what we are doing is we are switching out our light bulbs to um, day light bulbs. And this made such a huge difference. As you can see there, some plastic was melting on our light bulb. So here are some LED day light bulbs. They made such a big difference in the fridge. It actually made it feel like I had a whole new fridge. So if you're looking for a different vibe in your fridge, I definitely recommend just changing out your light bulbs.
So I quickly wanted to add that I really love the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleaner. That is what I'm using here. It was the first time that I had used it and I am already in love with it. It's a scratch free formula so I was sure that it wasn't going to scratch the plastic of my fridge and I promise you if I don't like a product I won't talk about it but if I do I will talk about it all the time so this is one of those products. So now the reorganization part starts. I'm going to put everything back into the fridge and get it organized with the new organization pieces that I purchased and I will share all of that with you as it comes up in the video. I purchased this organizer set on Amazon and I will link that down below. It had four pieces to it and they were all various sizes. So the biggest one I'm going to use for my vegetables. I figured it would be better to put it into this organization bin. That way I can just take the bin out and wash it instead of having to take the whole huge bin out of the refrigerator which is kind of hard and not fun to use in the sink. So this will be so much easier for that. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in the bin and looks so organized. This particular organization bin I purchased at Ross. If you haven't checked Ross out, they do have a small selection, but they may have what you're looking for. You never know. So I found this there and I really like it because it has the handle so that you can pull the bin out easily. And in this bin, I'm going to put all of our barbecue sauces. My husband and my son love barbecue sauce and then some sriracha. Who knows what I was saying there, but I was obviously talking to my husband about how nice and organized it was. This part of the organization was really important to me just because we do have so many condiments. So I wanted to group things together that were similar. For example, the top of bin was milk and almond milk. The second bin is going to be any type of salad dressings. The third bin is going to be your basic mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard, as you can see there. And then the bottom bin is going to be things that we don't use as often, like soy sauce and A1 sauce and things like that.
One of the last containers that I purchased was this egg organizer. It holds 21 eggs and I did purchase this at Ross. I think it was maybe about $5, not too expensive at all, and I really do love it. So this project is done. I couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out. I really feel like I have a new fridge, um, but it's not. <laughs> it's just clean. So in these bins here, let me explain to you a little bit of how I organize them. Of course, I mentioned earlier, this is all of our barbecue sauces. The second bin here is going to house stuff that my son uses. He likes to eat crab after school. And then this bin here is going to be anything that my daughter might use. Just easy access for the kids. And of course, these are just all of our deli items. And down below, you will see that I have all of the produce here, nice and organized. I'm really happy about that. This is just anything miscellaneous. And then down below, I actually have a clear bin. Nothing is in there, so that really, really excites me. And then you can see here how it is that I organized all of the condiments. Everything has a place, and I am so so happy about that. I really hope that this video gave you some inspiration, some tips, ideas, and how you can organize your fridge. You don't necessarily need to do anything special or purchase anything too expensive. Ross, Amazon, they're perfect for you. So thank you so much again, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.